Hello everybody! I'm so excited to be sharing easy guacamole with you guys. So guacamole is probably one of my favorite foods because it contains avocados. And avocados are full of healthy fats and something that everybody needs to survive. Fat. And so that's a good point to make is fat doesn't make you fat. You can eat healthy fats and thrive. So I'm excited to show you all you need is avocados. And you can choose a good avocado by it being tender to the touch, but not too much that it squishes. So the only way you would be able to squish to the core is if you put a, applied a good amount of pressure with your fingers to the pit, and you could squish through the skin. But I don't advise you doing that, or you'll have guacamole. You'll be making guacamole with your hands through <laughs> avocado coming out of the skin. So basically what you do is you're going to slide, go around the avocado, and it'll either come apart easily or you can twist to un, um, get the avocado pit out. I hit the avocado pit with my knife, twist it, and then I'm able to remove the pit. So then I slice the avocado. You can see I'm doing slices and then I'm going to slice the other direction. So that now I'm kind of creating cubes. You can see. And then I'll just squeeze that right into my bowl where I have some of my other avocado that I've already cut. So again, I'm going to slice it in one direction and then slice in the other. And then I can squeeze it right into my bowl. All right, so I've gotten about 10 avocados in here. And all you have to do is add your fixings to make it guacamole, right? So I've cut up one tomato that I'm going to add at the very end because that's, you don't want the the tomato to become squishy. So here we go. Let's do some garlic. Actually, I'll use my contraption. We have a garlic press that we can press right into the avocado. Now this is only a few ingredients. You have avocados, you have garlic, you have, oh, I'd love to share it with y'all. Um, you have red onion, tomatoes, and cilantro. And some people care for cilantro, some don't. It's totally up to you. This is another one of those recipes you can really create it to your own liking and you can do a little bit more or a little bit less. But so far I have two, 10 av uh, avocados and two cloves of garlic. Now I'm gonna do a half of an onion. So I'm gonna show you a, a fun way, an easy way to cut your onion so that it's a nice dice. So you're, uh, I have a half an onion with the back of the onion still connected, which gives me, makes it where it won't fall apart. So I put my hand on top of the, the onion and I slice almost to the end without going all the way through. Whoop, went through today. All right, then I'm going to slice the other direction. I'm going to go toward the top without going past the top, okay? And you can make your onion slices as big or as small as you'd like. Now I'm going to slice this way. And now I'll add that to the, the avocados. Now we have some cilantro. I'm going to add a bunch of cilantro, and this is really to your taste. And I'm going to just chop it up. It doesn't have to be, you can do it as fine or as, as coarse as you'd like it. And now the fun part, we're gonna mix it all together. So we're gonna mix. All right, so it's starting to look a little bit more like guacamole. I know, I wish I could hand deliver it to all of you. I'm gonna mash. Okay, and now I'm going to add the tomatoes in. So again, you can put as little or as, lot, as much as you want. Add the tomatoes in, mix it up. Oh, and I can't forget two of the most important ingredients. To bring out the flavors in food, you can add acid or you can add salt. So I'm going to do a little bit of both here. I'm going to add a, a good hefty portion of sea salt because we have a lot of avocados. And then I am going to add some lime, which is acid. I do a half and a lime to about 10 avocados. Now this is another cool contraption. I can squeeze it right in and it squeezes out you'll get the most lime juice out with this cool little contraption you can see here. 
You can also use your hands. I mean, good muscle power, right? And then you get to just mix it up really good. You can add sea salt if you feel like something's missing to kind of bring out more flavor or more lime. And voila, there's some guacamole. And that can go with, look at this tasty vegetarian chili. All right, hope you liked the guacamole and enjoy.